Morning children, shall we start the revision? Lesson number 5. My house. Okay. Page number 187. Please open your textbook and the notebook also. Are you ready? Shall we start reading the question and answers? The first question is why do we need a house? Put your fingers. We need a house to live in. A house protect us from heat, cold, rain and wind. It also protect us from wild animals and thieves. See, in all the lessons, all the questions are important. Okay, that's why we need to read all the questions and the objective types also very important. That is why we have to read. First, we'll, uh, always whenever you are uh, by having the question answers, first you read the lesson and then by had the question answers. Because from the middle of the lesson also the question may come and for fill in the blanks also it will be very easy for you to uh, solve. So then second question, what is a pakka house? House made of bricks and cement are called pakka house. They these houses are very strong. Then third question. What is a temporary house? A houses which can be moved from one place to another is called a temporary house. Write briefly about a car one. Some people move from place to place. They move their houses with them. Such houses on wheels are called carvans. What is a tent? How is it used? House made of strong cloth called canvas are known as tents. They can be folded and carried from one place to another. <clears throat> what is a stilt house? Stilt houses are houses built on wooden poles slightly above the ground. It is built in areas with heavy rains. How should we keep our house? We should keep our house neat and clean. We should keep our things in proper place. We should sweep and mop the floor daily to keep the dust away. Okay. Then shall we start the fill in the blanks reading and do one thing uh, you you have to practice by writing also then it will be very easy for you to write in the examination fill in the blanks open page number one hundred and eighty seven. A house protect us from heat, cold, rain and wind. Then second is we feel safe and comfortable in our house. We find pakka houses in towns. 
ए परमानेंट हाउस कैन बी ए पक्का हाउस और कच्चा हाउस ओके नाउ टर्न द पेज टू कंटिन्यू दिस फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स fifth in plains and dry areas people build houses with flat roofs stilt houses are built in areas with heavy rains due to floods eskimos live in igloos houses that can be folded and carried from place to place are called tents match the following you can do it nicely but still once again have a look pakka house made of bricks and cement carwan house on wheels house boat flat flat uh, floats on water sorry house boat floats on water tents made of canvas igloos made of ice okay this is the match the following is over now you can have a each picture of these houses look at this picture these house boats also this also because on this you will get one picture like observation and all so that's why you uh, draw try to do the practice of drawing a good house okay pictures and di diagrams also i told you what are the diagrams you have to uh, open uh, do diagrams page numbers also i told you so like that you have to open the page numbers and do the practice of drawing the diagrams okay this is about the lesson number 5 and lesson number 6 also we'll do it right now open page number 190 page number 190 yes lesson number 6 my school page number 195 open your class work book also and put your fingers whichever question i am reading questions answer what do you learn in school we learn to read and write sing and dance draw and paint we learn new things in school every day second question how should we behave with our classmates we should not fight with our classmates we should share things with them now third question answer children whenever i am reading the answer you also read in your mind what do you do in the assembly hall we do our prayers in the assembly hall all the important meetings and functions are held in the assembly hall name any five rooms you see in a school classrooms assembly hall library playground and principal room what is the role of a principal a principal is the head of the school he or she looks after all the activities of the school okay then the sixth question what is a staff room a staff room is a place where teachers relax during their free period 
we should why sh should we wear uniform to school we should wear uniform because we look smart in uniform okay. now shall we go for objective type fill in the blanks can see the page number 194 fill in the blanks a school is a place where we learn new things our teachers help us to become good citizens our teachers teaches in teaches us in the classroom we must throw rubbish in the dustbin we do our prayers in assembly hall we should maintain silence in the library the teachers relax in the staff room during free periods we should be punctual to school now these are the fill in the blanks and now you can see the match the following with the pictures match the following pictures with the rooms now in the room see the activities principal room here she sit this is the picture and playground this is the picture and staff room here you can see this picture and classroom you can see this picture and library you can see this picture so match it properly with that now you can see this also tick the good habits at school tick the good habits at the school one two means praying and respecting teachers is a good habit fishing and then the, throwing the waste in the dustbin rush, rubbish in the dustbin is a good habit and then playing in the ground is a good habit so these three are the good habits okay this two uh, lessons revision we have revised all the question answers and all you to by heart all the question answers okay now i tell you little okay, guess about the how it will be the paper first conce conceptual understanding in that the question answers are there long question answers will be there and the short question answers are also the short question answers means one or two sentences long question means three or four sentences it will be there then you will be given some picture and the questions also on that you have to, one picture will be given and questions also made in that that is name the organs used to do or something some pictures will be given and you have to see that and fill it up one more information skills in the information skills fill in the blanks will be there and the two or four side something then communications communication skills that pictures will be there, uh, given again and that you have to recognize and name the picture then appreciation in that right true or false and match or following all these things will be there then tick the correct answer also will be there means right or true mcq multiple choice question and answers will be there in that you have to uh, solve that paper also then application application means you need to draw a diagram or diagram will be given you have to label the diagram okay either it will be not only one okay application means you have to draw the diagram compulsory any diagram it will call it it may appear like a, a house or plant or anything it will be there flag or anything it will be there 
so whatever is asked written in the paper so you have to do that this is about the paper how you need to solve so if you are uh, attempting the question number 2 means roman letters 2 so you have to complete it the roman number uh, roman number 2 only the questions whatever it is appearing if, so otherwise you need not to take the fourth questions roman letter 4 and uh, solve that don't clap it give the roman letter 2 and complete that column then only you can go, go for the third roman letter third and whatever it is whatever the questions are there you can talk here okay this is about this all the best and uh, be prepared for the examination okay thank you